Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Margaret, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we have some new makeup to play with. We are gonna be testing some products from Rowan Beauty. I've never tried anything before from Rowan. I didn't even really know much about Rowan until I started watching Lauren May Beauty's videos. I will definitely link her down below. She's honestly like been, I think my favorite YouTuber for at least the past year. She is just so, just like the chillest vibes. She's so knowledgeable. I feel like she's also really shifted the way that like I do my makeup, especially my eye makeup, like really, really, really shimmer heavy, like just using a lot of like my fingers and doing more more of like an easy, like super, super textured eye. Like she's really inspired me to do that. And I love it. I love it. So we have some products to try from Rowan. I've been looking into trying Rowan products for a while. They were having a 30% off sale. She says that's kind of like the highest sale she's ever seen from them. 30% is good enough for me. So I got a couple little bits and bops we're gonna try. I already have kind of like a light face going on. We have two eye products, a cheek product and a lip product. Let me dump the bag and we'll get into it. These are the goodies. Let's go through them one by one. First, we have the Mood Forever Eyeshadow Quad. This is $49. Rowan is definitely more of a mid-tier leaning luxury price point. So I was super happy to snag all this stuff at such a good price. It comes in a little velvet sleeve, which like I kind of want to keep, but I also am like, why? <laughs> <laughs> but this is definitely something that's very typical of like a more luxury brand. Um, they do have this kind of like gunmetal mirrored packaging on most of the products. Love hate relationship. Part of me loves the more mirrored packaging and part of me just really can't stand the fingerprints. So mm, 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 I don't know. I don't know where I fall on that. Here she is. She's a really cute like neutral leaning warm moment got a little champagne a little more like slightly more gold champagne this one's more of like a taupey situation and then we have this pretty like rusty maroon there also is two different formulas in here this um cream shade up top is like more of a true cream shadow whereas the other ones are almost more like cream powder hybrids and so it doesn't have the same glitter sparkly texture that the other ones do and honestly based on lauren's videos i was expecting this one to be a little bit of a dud so i kind of knew that going in i'm gonna try to make it work but i'm not like definitely don't have like my hopes up for that one little shade the other eye product that i got is called disco eye universal um, they have two shades of the Disco Eye. They have this one, which is the universal shade, and then they have like a gold version. This is like a slightly silver, but mostly like, almost like a neutral, transparent, like really flaky glitter shade. And I have actually worn this once. I did try this one out and I was into it, but I was like wondering if I could have applied it better. I don't know. Again, this is a very unique formula. They actually have a little baby pamphlet that comes in the box that kind of like tells you how they would recommend applying it. Let's read, shall we? On first use, swirl your fingertip in circular motion on each eye shadow shade. Don't be afraid to use firm pressure. This will activate our lid Illumis for optimal color payoff. For more pigment, apply directly to your eyelid using your fingertips for a diffused wash of color. Use um, an eyeshadow brush. On the website, it also has the same application tips listed for the quad. So um, I'm gonna be using my fingers today. That's definitely more of my jam. So yeah, okay, but moving on away from the eye products, we have this Cheeky Cream Blush. This is the shade Natural Rose. It's a really pretty, just kind of like neutral, brown, slightly pink cream blush. Super excited about that. For the lip, I did, I did slightly fail on the, picking the lip shade. This shade is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm is the name of the product. And it's in the shade Lola. And I was like, oh, I have my Givenchy lip balm. Like I, it's a kind of similar product. I don't want to get a shade too similar. 
I don't know what happened. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't remember the thought process of how I ended up with this when it very clearly looks exactly like my Givenchy one. I will say um, Rowan has a very like clear aesthetic in terms of like their marketing images and stuff like that and they are beautiful. However, the one caveat to that is sometimes I feel like it's a little unclear what the products are really gonna look like and just kind of like exactly what you're buying. So I don't know if that's what happened um, here and I actually did do a good job at trying to pick some, well, I didn't do a good job, but I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't know. They're similar, we'll see what happens. Enough chatting, let's get to applying. We are zoomed in a little closer. We have this little puppy right here, the little Mood Forever quad. I don't really have a plan at the moment. Oh, I need an eyeshadow primer. What am I doing? I will say based on Lauren's videos, she talks about the fact that these don't dry down. And so like during the day you, or they don't completely dry down. So during the day, you might find yourself needing to kind of like tap it out a little bit if it gets a little bit creasy. I'm personally, I don't think I'm really going to be bothered. Um, I always use a shadow primer. I either have this NARS one or I have the Hourglass shadow primer. I am just not really prone to a lot of creasing. Um, and so if I do crease a little bit, like, and I just am able to kind of tap it out, because it stays cream and emollient, you're definitely going to be able to like fix it um but if you feel like you have like super 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 oily eyelids it might not be the best fit in terms of like a product but we're gonna see what happens oh my god i'm like nervous i honestly don't even know what i want to do i don't even know i don't even know okay 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 no i don't know and i want to use the disco eye oh my god okay this is stressful i'm gonna try the taupey shade kind of on the outer half of my eye i think i'm gonna go for this one more on the inner half of my eye i'm gonna try the darker one on the lower lash line see if i can use a brush and like make anything happen there and then i'm gonna try this cream shade on the brow bone and then i'm gonna try um the disco eye kind of like on the inner corner of the eye i think that's the plan so i'm gonna start with the outer half of the eye with this little Toby guy right here it's said to use that you can use quite a bit of pressure and like really dig in there so that's what i'm gonna do and oh okay here we go i'm going for it um okay i'm literally obsessed with that shade and i'm mostly just tapping this is kind of what i do whenever i do a look like this oh my god that is beautiful i really don't know I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but in real life, like, whoo, I'm gonna like build it up a little bit on my actual lid. I would wear this, just this one shade all over my lid, like every day. Very much the type of look I've been into. The shimmer has so much dimension. So it has an almost clear, but slightly taupe base. And then, it has reflect of gold, almost it looks like a reflect of blue. I don't know if that blue is more of like a silver, but kind of like a silvery blue. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I wanna bathe in this. And then I'm gonna take a dry finger that doesn't have any of it on it and I'm just gonna kind of blend it upward toward the brow bone. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Oh my God, it's a lot darker than I expected. This eye look is gonna be a little all over the place, but we're making it work. Honestly, probably would have swapped these shades if I had known exactly how they were gonna look because the other one, like I said, is a little more of like a transparent base. And this one definitely has more of a base color on it. It's this kind of like fiery orangey pink. But you know what, we're here. I'm going rogue, I'm going rogue. I'm gonna go into this one down here. Gonna put that on the outside and see what happens. This one's definitely more coppery, more bronzy. This has just gotten so out of control. I just don't even know what I'm doing. I had, I had a plan, it wasn't a very well thought out plan and now I'm, I'm suffering the consequences. What is that like TikTok sound or that, th that meme that's like, 
Well, if it isn't, the consequences of my own actions. Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. I have just like totally haphazardly <laughs> with no like no direction, no clear plan, no tact, no skill thrown all of this on my eye and it looks really good. Like it literally is so beautiful and I I don't even know what I just did. I just did something crazy and ridiculous. So I'm kind of here for that. Like, I'm here for the fact that even though, like if I was using a different product and I had just thrown those on in the way that I did just now, like it would have gotten so muddy and like crazy looking. And this looks gorge. Maybe I'll try to insert some other footage um from my phone that like really shows more like the texture just for funsies let's try this darker shade on my like lower liner brush and just see what happens okay that's cute i feel like i was able to make this one darker and now i feel like this one won't go as dark and i what am i doing what's happening all right i just threw on some mascara i am so into this so far side note complete side note i've been really liking the hourglass unlocked mascara if you like a tubing mascara that's great for length that comes off so easily this one is really pretty check it check it check the vibes so we're not completely done with the eyes we're gonna go in with this little disco eye i'm gonna try to do this in the inner corner so this one definitely has more a little bit more of a powder feel than the rest of them do it's more of a flaky friend Ooh! oh i got one in my eye i got a flake in my eye that is really fun on the inner corner i honestly didn't think i was gonna like it on the inner corner that much because i was worried it was gonna be like too sparse but i am very into that oh yeah oh yeah so now i'm gonna take the cream shimmer shade and kind of tap it under my brow bone we're just gonna see what happens I mean, you can definitely see a difference. Brow bone, no brow bone. Brow bone, no brow bone. I'm definitely gonna make use out of that one. I'm not like so obsessed because really, like the reason you're gonna wanna get this is if you love not like a metallic shade, like a textured, sparkly, pizzazzy shade, then that's kind of why you're gonna want to go for the Rowan quads. So that one just doesn't have the same razzle dazzle that like the rest of it does. But again, it's like useful if you have a light skin tone to use it as like a, ooh, should we try this highlighter? Okay, we'll do the blush first and then I might try tapping it on my cheeks and see if I can do like a highlighter moment. So this is a cream blush. However, based on Lauren's recommendation in her video, I'm A, gonna be using a brush, not a sponge, and B, I've really lightly set my face, actually. The whole drama and conflama about putting creams over powders, definitely that is a thing that sometimes does not work, but sometimes it's not a big deal. This one is a, a more emollient cream blush formula. It almost feels a little bit Vaseline-y, like more of that like slip. I can see why it wouldn't have worked very well with a sponge, just the moisture in the sponge and the type of formula this is. I can see that, how that would be like not a vibe, but let's go in with this brush and see what happens. Okay, that's really pretty. Very into that, very into that, but I need more. Cause more is more with blush. If you're Margaret, blush is life. So more is more. Okay, that is beautiful. And because it has more of that slip to it, it is definitely designed to have a little dewiness. It's not gonna dry down matte. It's gonna give you a little bit of that ooh ah ooh when you hit the light. Mm. so okay now let's just get wild let's get wild let's try this on the high points here's to making it work people here's to making it work oh okay okay 
yeah. Okay, I've officially drenched myself <laughs> in this as a highlighter. Love it, love it. I'm pleasantly surprised. I honestly thought I wasn't gonna like that, but as a highlight, it looks so pretty. Okay, so this is the look thus far. We're getting to it, we're getting to it. Let's do the lip. I'm gonna do my Makeup Forever lip pencil in Wherever Walnut. I said this is the shade Lola. It has the doe foot applicator that I really like that is a triangle and then it has the hole in the middle. I love an applicator like that. It's minty. But I'm gonna go in for a second dip, do a little more, build it up a little bit. That is really working for me. Okay, um, I'm gonna zoom the camera out a little bit and we're gonna chat about what's going on. All right, the verdict is that I feel beautiful. I had a feeling I was gonna really like these products. Their aesthetic is the look that I really love on most days, which is like, Simple, not a lot of coverage, dewy, sparkly on the eyes. I just feel, I feel really pretty. I feel really pretty. This is a very, very like quintessential Margaret look. And I am so happy with these products. I'm really happy that I got them 30% off. This is so smooth and so comfortable. Has a nice like minty, fresh situation going on. Love it. We'll go in backwards order that we applied because like, the blush required legitimately zero blending and looks so pretty, so natural, just bringing a little bit of like color to the cheeks. And like, I legitimately didn't blend this, just like tap, 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 boom. And it's stunning. The Disco Eye, it is so fun on the inner corner, but I'm really mostly excited to wear this as a single shadow look all over the lid. It's really fun because like almost in indirect light, you almost can't really tell that it's there. And then in the direct light, boom, Disco Eye. <laughs> Gorgina. And then the little star of the show, this Mood Forever palette, I love this and i'm so excited that this cream shade looks so pretty as a highlighter i honestly thought when i was buying it that i was committed to like just really hoping to love these three shades and this one was gonna be like oh whatever but it looks really pretty on the brow bone it looks so pretty as a highlighter chin center of the forehead above the brow brow bone high points, nose, like I have it everywhere and it's so, so pretty. And these shadows are gorgeous. My eyes are glowing. They are glowing from within. They are glowing from the outside. They are glowing every which way. The textures and the kind of like micro shimmers in here are super unique and beautiful. It was so easy to do. Like I said, I used absolutely no tact and skill <laughs> or had any sort of plan when I went to apply this and it looks amazing. And that cannot be said for a lot of other shadows. You end up sometimes with a muddy mess if things go awry. And I thought that's where we were headed and that is not where we are at all. This was like a 10 out of 10 video for me. I am so happy with all of these. Obviously I'll get more of an idea of like how they wear as I wear them, but I am mm, 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 so into this. So into this. I had so much fun making this look. I cannot wait to keep using these and I'm definitely going to have my eye on Rowan from now on. I want all of these products in more shades. I want more Rowan products. Rowan, make more makeup. I'm into it. I am here for the gig. I think that's going to be it from me today. Let me know down below what you think, all your thoughts. Have you tried Rowan? Are you interested? What's the tea? I want to know about it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>